Hello everyone, welcome back to ZimStream TV. Your one-stop source for all the latest news, analysis, and commentary on politics, social affairs, and religion. From breaking news to in-depth analysis, we've got you covered. Police clarify stance on public gatherings in Zimbabwe. Amidst growing concerns and confusion, the Zimbabwe Republic Police has issued a statement clarifying their stance on public gatherings in the country. This comes after a series of arrests and detentions of opposition activists during public gatherings, sparking fears of a ban on public assemblies. In a post on X, the Zimbabwe Republic Police stated, the Zimbabwe Republic Police dismisses social media postings alleging that the government of Zimbabwe has banned or prohibited public gatherings due to the forthcoming Southern African Development Community, SADC, summit. The statement aims to address the growing concerns and misinformation circulating on social media platforms. However, the police's clarification has been met with skepticism by many, given the recent arrests and detentions of opposition activists. Critics argue that the police's actions speak louder than their words, and that the recent crackdown on public gatherings suggests a de facto ban on assemblies. Opposition parties, including the Citizens' Coalition for Change, CCC, have been affected by the arrests and detentions, with many of their members and supporters being targeted. The upcoming SADC summit, has been cited as a reason for the increased security measures and scrutiny of public gatherings. However, many argue that this should not be used as a pretext to suppress dissenting voices and restrict the rights of citizens to assemble peacefully. Human rights organizations have expressed concern over the developments, citing the importance of protecting citizens' rights to freedom of assembly and expression. The government must ensure that citizens' rights are protected and that the police do not abuse their powers to suppress dissent, said a spokesperson for a local human rights organization. As the country prepares to host the SADC summit, the situation regarding public gatherings remains complex and contentious. While the police claim that public gatherings are allowed, the recent arrests and detentions suggest otherwise. The government must provide clarity and assurance that citizens' rights will be respected and protected. 